Hey Roses, it's Schleich Roses. And today I am going to be doing my 2020 July barn tour and I hope you guys are super excited because I have made so many changes and it's just super exciting and something you may notice right now is that I have both of my hands and one of my hands is not holding my phone and this is because I got a tripod and I'm so happy about it because it's gonna make filming so many videos so much easier especially tutorial videos which like you don't even know I had to set up some pretty elaborate looking like wooden blocks to get um, some videos so that's one really exciting update and before we get too far into the barn tour I really want to say Please, please, please go check out my Etsy. I'm going to be listing some more customs, some more tack, a bunch of other stuff um, now that I'll have this video published because that's what I've been working on pretty much. Um, and I will also have some other stuff that I will be listing on there. So go check that out, please. Thank you. And the link that will be in the description. And also follow my Instagram. I post on there every single day. All right, let's get started. So I thought we'd start with my upstairs just cause I always start downstairs, I feel like. So um, this is my upstairs room shelf and I don't want to hint at anything too much, but this is going to look a lot different in our August barn tour. Um, so <laughs> get psyched for that. So this is um, the first big barn, which basically has all the border horses in it. And these horses are all customs um, with self made tack. So, first here is Oliver, and he is a custom on the paint horse. And I made this lovely little halter for him um, that I really like. Uh, and this is like a tie dye blanket I'm really proud of doing. And this is Plum. She's a custom on the newest retainer mare made by Da Vinci Creations. Really love how she came out. And then this right here is um, Butterscotch, and she's a custom on the Lipizzaner mare, and I redid her mane. I really love how her mane came out. And then I, over here is Almira, and she's a custom on the retired Frisian mare. And so these are the border horses. They all have their little hay, and they have waters uh, um, and food, and then just some beautiful little flowers. Over here is Timothy, and he is just brushing the little walkway here. And then this is Vincent being hidden by Emma. He is a custom on, uh, oh my goodness. This is Vincent being ridden by Emma, and he is a custom on the Welsh Pony Stallion that I did. And I um, painted him and made all this beautiful little tack. Over here is this little kitty as well as this one named Alfredo. This one's name is Meatball. They're like the Italian siblings. And I get a lot of questions about these. These are Riemann Miniature, um, a Japanese brand. This is Dasani. He is the Saddlebred Gelding. And um, he's actually named after a horse I ride in real life. Over here is <laughs> Gustav. He's a um, WIA model horse um, from model fair sand uh i will leave a link for that as well and then here is falmo and he is the new paso fino stallion i absolutely love him and then over here is onyx and he is a custom on the retired thoroughbred stallion he turned out super cute i have some pictures on him on my instagram moving down to the next level i have the new pasture that i made that i really really like um, it has all of these cute little water buckets and these open and closing little doors. Here is Cookie. She's a custom on the fit, on the Felmare. And then back there is Estrella. She's a um, custom on the original Dartmoor Mare, custom to a fjord. And then over here is Marigold. She's a custom on the Welsh Mare. And then we have these two little tiny ponies who I made little baby blankets for. This is Cherry, the one wearing the blanket with little cherries on it. And then behind her is Slinky. This um, is the Shetland uh, pony. And then this is a Falabella here. And these are both collective. And then up here is uh, 
Charlotte riding Rosie, and she is a custom on the Connemara mare, and I made this beautiful tack for her. It's absolutely my favorite. I'm really proud of this set. And then there's all of these bunnies and adorable guinea pigs, and I'm really happy I got this new girl here. Her name is Chris, and she's holding this little baby bunny. She's a retired um, figure, and then there's some sleeping bunnies, baby bunnies, eating like vegetables from the bowl these beautiful little trees and then a cat who was just in this empty box because cats really like empty boxes and then down here is the final level this is chocolate she is the um retired hanoverian mare this is sable she's a custom that i did um on the tennessee walker mare and then over here is lavender and she is the um, horse that comes in one of the sets, and I believe that she is a halflinger. And back here is a custom I did on the Hanno, um, a custom I did on the Lipizzaner mare, and her name is Thea. And then back here are these adorable little ponies. Most of them are customs, except for Aquarius, who, who is the retired fell stallion. And he has this cute little rope halter that I made and this cute little blanket. And then here is Biscuit. He's custom on the gray riding pony. Here's all of, well, most of my gray riding ponies. I have the original finished model in my downstairs barn. And then down here is this little guy. His name is Whiskery. And then back there is Fanaro. And then this is Prospero, and he's a custom on the um, retired Dartmoor Stallion. Okay, so here's a little overview of my barn in my room on this shelf. So this is my temporary setup on my desk that I'm using for filming the episodes that you guys have been watching. I hope you've enjoyed those, and you can check those out. They're also on my channel. Um, so this is the little barn um, for these two little ponies and right here's Jessica. She's one of the girls who um, who she owns Cranberry here who's a collecta. These two are collecta models. She's the collecta mare, the Dartmoor mare and I believe this is a Shetland pony and her name is Blueberry. And there's this little cat here, Milo, who is chasing down this little tiny mouse who does not have a name because I think he might be eaten soon. And then over here is Delilah and she is being tacked up um, right now by the instructor, Jerry. Then behind him, we have Biscuit who was just being ridden and Sophia is taking him and untacking him, or is about to. And then over here is the tack room, which will probably soon be expanded, actually. And um, there's some tack here and just a little bulletin board with some shelves. There's also a um, chart over there, which is just a little feed chart. And then there's um, some books up there. Uh, and little organization uh, cubbies for the girls that come in who can put like their stuff, their helmets and everything. Um, then there's some halter hooks and bridle hooks. Um, this cute little window and clock as well as the little um, chart over there. And then there's a bunch of different saddle pads and this is where the saddles go. Here is Sarah. She's just uh, carrying one of the saddles right now. And then moving out of the tack room, we have these two little doggies. This is Oscar, and then this is Stetson, and he is a, um, I think he's a Border Collie. I'm not too good with dogs, but this is just the little uh, tack up area and wash stall. And there's um, Biscuit's blanket, cause he was just uh, being ridden. So this is Timothy and he's riding Nutcracker. And then back there, Effie and Morgan are just watching him. They're from the series, if you guys haven't seen that. So the arena is just this, um, and it has some sand in it and everything. And then over in the front, there is the mounting block and these cute little trees, as well as the uh, squirrel peanut. There are also these three girls who are all sporting some of my handmade tack. This is Amber riding Cloud. 
This is Juliet riding, uh, riding Lilia. And then this is Jennifer, who is riding Clar. And then this is one of the newest barns. And there are two horses here. This is the Collecta Missouri Fox Trotter Mare. And her name is Starship. And then over here is the new Frisian Mare, who I was super excited to get. And her name is Drea. Back here is Firefly, who's being ridden by Kristen. And this is some Western tack that I got from Schleich's Scythe. And we had a little trade, and this was her amazing, amazing set. You should definitely check out my unboxing video where I unboxed all the stuff that I got from her. Super cool. And then there's just this horse trailer um, driven by, by Effie's dad, Dylan. All right, and this is just a little overview of what's on my desk right now. And this is uh, the area where I do all of my filming. All right, guys, so let's head to the big barn downstairs. All right, guys, are you ready? I've been working super hard on my downstairs barn, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you haven't already, go check out me organizing my barn because that's what I was doing yesterday before I made this video. Okay, and as always, before we get too in-depth, I'm going to do a gigantic overview of all three levels of my beautiful barn. Alright, so we're going to start on the top level, so I'll just do a little top level overview so you guys can see everything. Okay, so first, um, this is the stallion barn. And in the first stall is the Halflinger Stallion, whose name is Ailer. And then next door is um, the Hanoverian Stallion, and his name is Twig. And then next to him is Domino, and he's the, um, I actually don't know what breed he is, uh, but he came from the Cafe, uh, Rider Cafe set, which I have an unboxing video of. Um, and then over there is Lemon Slice, and that is the retired Napstrupper Stallion. I feel so old saying all these horses are retired, um, but I'm just um, saying that you can't buy them anymore, unfortunately. And then over there is the riding uh, bareback riding set on that little on the saddle stand there, and uh, that's made by Infinity Briars. And then in the last stall on the end is Peanut Butter and he is the Tennessee Walker Stallion. So one of the biggest changes is that the feed room is now on the top level instead of the middle level. Um, just I did that to open up some paddock space. So this is um, Lewis here and then we have Jonas who is <laughs> looking at some of the feed and there's a bunch of crates of apples and carrots as well as some feed back here as, and a um, feed chart and they are just setting the feed for some of the horses. And I think my feed room is probably going to change soon too, so keep a lookout for that. And there is the stallion barn. And then in the back here is a Marin full barn, with the exception of this um, dad here who has taken over care of his crazy child. So this is Raya, and um, she is the paint mare, and this is um, her uh, yearling, Barryothene. And these stalls have sliding drawers, which is really nice. And um, there's a little bench here and clock, just for anyone who wants to sit and watch the horses. And here is Amber and Julia, and they're just talking about their um, their apple success. They're both uh, holding some apples. And uh, yeah. And in the back there are the Ardennes. Uh, that's the Ardennes Stallion and the foal here. The stallion's name is Duran, and the foal's name is Sparta. Neighboring them is the Clydesdale mare and, and foal. And outside of the stall is Crystal, and she's just making sure that the foal is okay, and it's about to check his temperature. The mare's name is Glitter, and her foal's name is Whiplash. Okay, and then in front, there's this adorable little pasture with some um, mainly ponies, I think, in here. So this is Cherry Blossom. She is the Welsh mare. And then behind her 
is Tiger Lily, and that is the new Arabian mare. Here <laughs> we have a very, very sleepy Olivia who has fallen asleep on this beautiful mare whose name is Apple Bloom, and her foal, who's actually a fake schleich, but looks pretty real to me, and his name is Rainmaker. And then over here is this adorable retired Icelandic mare, and her name is Adela, and she's wearing this cute halter from Schleich Safe and this blanket made by me. This is Petunia, and she is the Connemara mare, just one of my favorite models. And then right here, we have Peregrine, and she is the retired Icelandic mare. And there's this little doggy house here with a bull and bone. And behind the dog house is Sera, and she's actually for sale on my Etsy. She's super duper beautiful. She has amazing gray dapples, and you should definitely go check her out. She needs a really nice loving home. And then through this path is Dogo. Sparkle, and she is wearing this adorable blanket that I made that has beautiful roses on it. Another big change is now the vet um, area is upstairs. Kaylin is watching as um, Rick is trying to calm down Diablo. He's not a big fan of his treatment right now. And um, there's a bunch of medications in the back there, as well as a vet chart and just um, some vet supplies next to Aaron. And then over here is this stallion pasture as well as a stallion barn behind that. This is Orlo. He's a retired Arabian stallion. And here is Deus and he is the Mustang stallion. This is Pajramon and he is the retired Alke Tiki stallion. And then right behind him we have Valerian and he is the Retired Thoroughbred Stallion. This is Icicle, and he is the Tennessee Walker Stallion, and him, as well as his blanket, are both together as, um, are for sale as a bundle on my Etsy, so he needs a good home, too. This is Porlock. He is the Retired Arabian Stallion. And then over here is Diamond, and he is the Palomino Stallion. Back here is Alessandro. He is the Quarter Horse Stallion. Next to him is Tuak, the Black Forest Stallion. Then over here is Yuri. He is the Percheron Stallion. And then over here is Wanderer. He is the Paint Stallion being groomed by Amanda. And then finally, in the last stall, is Wilden, and he is the Clydesdale Stallion. He's pretty big for that stall, actually. <laughs> and that is all the stallions up here. And that finishes the top level. Alright guys, so let's move to the middle level. So this is just a little overview of the middle level. So we'll start over here. So we have a ton, a ton, a ton of bunnies where the old arena used to be. And we also have all these lovely little small animals here. So over here is Diana, and she's feeding this little baby cow. And then there's Jose, who's feeding this little baby donkey, um, whose name is Tulip. <laughs> and then over here there's some just some goats and sheep and pigs and all of these bunnies who do not have names because... There are just so too many to have, to, like, all of these names. <laughs> anyway, here's Cheryl. She's picking up a rake. She's going to clean up the uh, bunny area. <laughs> these adorable baby bunnies are, like, all over the place, climbing through their little obstacles and everything. And then we have two bunny hatches, uh, whereas before we had one. And there's also these tiny adorable little hedgehogs. And then over here... We have Madeline, who is tending one of the bunnies. I love this big bunny, this big um, lop-eared bunny, he's just so cute. And then over here is the chicken coop, uh, which is um, very interesting. We have a rooster, and uh, this is Sandy over here, this white chicken. And if you have seen my real chickens, she is looks pretty much like that. I'll show a video about that later on. 
And then inside the coop, it's uh, kind of crowded in here, but I'm making it work. The white chicken's name is Daisy. The brown chicken in the corner there is named um, Cupcake. And then the one eating the food is named uh, is Honey. And they have these two little chicks. And then there's another chicken in the coop, and her name is Black Beauty. All right, leaving the chicken coop, we have C Celia, and she's carrying this little basket of eggs from the chicken coop. And <laughs> Celia's mom, Rachel, is holding a even bigger basket of eggs. And there's all these little ducklings, and they were just being washed and going in that little tub right there. And then we have Isabella, who is standing over some milk and water, and she is looking for her cat, I believe. And there's just um, all this little food, and there's some more food and waters over here for the buddy pen. All right, and then this is the barn here. This is another, this is a mare in full barn um, currently. So this is Athena and her full Thorin. And then over here is Cedar and her full Nightwind. Hang up on the folds, even though she's a dressage rider, she just wants to see them because they're super cute. And then over here, um, a vet is coming to check on some of the horses and just make sure that the babies are okay. And um, then on the other side, so this is Laura. And then right here, we have Liz and she's holding her little helmet and leading um, the vet in to see all the horses. This is the Tennessee Walker mare and her name is Larna and her foal's name is Addo. And then back here is the Hanoverian mare. Um, she's a Collecta and her name is Echo and her foal's name is Sandalwood. So that is it for this barn which is the Schleich barn. Okay, now moving down into the main area of the shelf is this mare and foal pasture. But before we go through that, I just want to go in the back here. So this is Brownie, and she's the Black Forest mare, and she's um, about to get a bath, which she's not too excited about. And there's Mia. She's going to be giving her a bath. And then behind there, we have this um, Hanoverian stallion, and his name is Tidbit. And um, we have this little girl, Annabelle, who thinks it's very funny to be taking a picture while um, Mia is having all this trouble washing naughty, naughty, naughty little mare here. And this is the new um, barn that I unboxed. It's the large horse stable from Slyke. And this is Patriot, and he's a Clydesdale, and this is indigo and she is the shire mare and then bill is just right here and he was just picking up some food it's very exciting and then up here is riley and she's just chilling on a hay bale while there's some cats up here and just some really fun kitty stuff this is eli walking sirico his doggy her name is kiana and her full name is moonwalker but he's upstairs and then over here is Gray. The foal's name is Gray. They are the Arabians. And his mom's name is Moonshine. This is the Fjord Mare in full. And her name is Empress. And her foal's name is Cropper. This is the Icelandic Mare in full. And her name is Eshe. And her foal's name is Sierva. This is also the Icelandic Marinfoll. Uh, this bundle is for sale on my Etsy. And her name is White River and her foal's name is Kaylin. This is the Dartmoor Marinfoll. Her name is Starlight and her foal's name is Misty. And then this is another Icelandic Marinfoll. So many Icelandic horses in here, guys. And her name is Starsong and her foal's name is Belmont. This is the Quarter Horse Marinfoll. Her name is Starsong and her foal's name is Raccoon. This is the Black Forest Mare and her yearling. Her name is Gardenia and her, and her yearling's name is Parche. Thoroughbreds, um, this is her, the mare's name is 
Yara M. She, her, she is for sale alone on my Etsy. And the foal's name is Jigsaw. This is the Camarage Mare and Foal. And her name is Tinkerbell. And her foal's name is Miriam. This is the new Paint Mare and Foal, who I will soon have a blanket for her. And then they will be sold as a, as a bundle. Her name is Eventide. And her foal's name is Nationa Sprinkles. And Sprinkles' mom is also upstairs somewhere. I'm not really sure where. This is Elizabeth, and she's trying to give a carrot here to Eventide. Here is Luis, and he is just picking up some more food. This is Little Pony Stalls, what I absolutely, that I absolutely love. And this girl right here, her name is Adona, and she is checking in on the fell mare in full. And the mare's name is sugar cube and her full's name is coal, ba coal black and then this is the dark new dartmoor mare and full and her name is kayana and her full's name is hari this little barn it's these little trees made by schleich and there's also some halters and just some other small accessories outside the barn and then over here is a mare and full barn it has and then over here we'll get to a stallion um, slash gelding pony pasture, and then eventually the fowl bells as well. So here's Birch and her foal, Gatito, and they're the Andalusians. And then outside, Mary is just coming to check on them. The, these are the Lipizzaners. The mare's name is Katrina, and her foal's name is Raider. And then this is the Tinker Mare and foal, and her name is Lydia, and her foal's name is Beckett. The, this little stallion pasture here right here's aru and he's the icelandic stallion and this right here is the collecta fjord and his name is ashino this is toffee and he is a wild dulem horse then right here is graystone and he is being hugged by this adorable girl who, by the way, is a Belleville, Belleville figure. I get so many questions about that. They're um, Belleville. And she's hugging Yonder, who is a gray rat and blue. And then over here is is Albu, and he is the, new, the Dartmoor Stallion. This is Dandy. He's a custom I did on the Fjord Stallion. Just recolored him to be um, the same color as a normal Fjord just the basic done but I just wanted to redo it because I think it looks pretty nice and then over here is Iceberg he is the Welsh Pony Stallion and then over here is the Training Pony and his name is Dayton and then in the back there we have these adorable 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 little tiny Falabellas and their foal the mare's name is Miffy and then the stallion's name is Wreck and then their foal's name is Tiny we have a little water bucket and um, a pitchfork and muck bucket outside the third stall. A pasture and a stallion barn. And some of them are geldings, but I just kind of call them stallions. So this is Storm. He's from the horse club set. This is um, Spirit, and he is the, is the he is the Lusitanio stallion. And then over here is Windfoot, and he is a Mustang, a rear Mustang. Over here is Clover, he is the original Fjord Stallion. And then over here is Wildfire, and he's the uh, Arabian Stallion. This is Caspian, he is um, a Collecta Warm Blood, and he is um, wearing this adorable um, ambassador blanket made by Anthony Lee Breyer, since I am still an ambassador. Over here is um, Mystery, and he is also one of the Horse Club horses. And then over here is Trey Balm, and he is a um, recolor on the Tricaner Stallion. And then finally, over here is Forwin, and he is, I believe, either, I think he's a Tricaner Stallion as well. And then we have this lovely barn. Over here is Casper, he is the Camarage Stallion. I absolutely love this blanket, by the way, I just wanted to say that. Um, and then over here is Lydia, and she is taking care of Timmy. He is the Hanoverian Stallion. 
And then over here is Punchy, and he is going to be for sale, and he's a recolor of, oh no, I think he's the original Tennessee Walker Stallion. And then over here is Mandy, and she's taking care of um, Chambeu right here, and he is the um, Halflinger Stallion. And then lastly here is Smokey, and he is eyeing those treats outside of his stall, and he is the Tricane Stallion. And we'll just do an overview of the middle section. And now we'll head to the bottom. Okay, so we're going to start over here with the pony area. Um, so I ended up getting this set in my largest, biggest unboxing ever video that I have um, as well. And right now, uh, Unicorn is running through these little streamers. She absolutely loves it. She's a Shetland pony. Most of these ponies here are Shetlands, with the exception of the Preswalski horse here. Um, Alright, so starting over here, we have Relic and her full Colby. And then over here we have um, Hiller, and she's being ridden by this little girl, Ashley. And then over here is Cupcake, and she's wearing this super cute polka dot cupcake blanket. Cupcake themed blanket, I guess. Um, and then there's also this little um, streamer uh, obstacle kind of thing here. And then in the back, we have this very angry, rearing um, stallion, um, and his name is Steed, and their little foal. His name is Carrot, but he's Carrot Miniature because, as you guys all know, in my last unboxing, we unboxed the real Carrot over there, who I will introduce to you. <laughs> and then right here is Nuzzled, and he's a Shetland pony. He's actually fake Schleich. You can kind of tell, but I'm going to repaint him so you won't be able to tell. <laughs> And then this is the Prizwalski mare, and she is named Heartland. And then back there, we have Brownie and her full Kiasara. And then right here is Jam, and I absolutely love her. She's so cute. I'm going to make a blanket for her soon. And then over there we have more Shetlands. I think these are the these are the mini Shetties, this, this family, but these other guys are Shetlands. Um, and then this mare's name is Lyarna, and her foal's name is Dipper. Okay, this is a little overview of the pony area, and now we'll move on to the main shelf. Alright, this is the main shelf area here. So we'll start over here in the um, stallion pasture. So this is a dressage horse that we have, and his name is Caligula. And then right here we have the Pentavian Stallion, and his name is Zareen. This is the Quarter Horse Stallion, and his name is Berto. Back here is the Freedom Stallion, his name is Midnight. This is um, Cheyenne, who is the is a Quarter Horse, I believe, a Quarter Horse Gelding. And then over here is Hedgedong, and he is the Clydesdale Stallion. And then just down here, we have John, and he's uh, shoveling some stuff in uh, this area. So over here is Carrot, the real Carrot here. Um, we have Baby Carrot over there, but this is the real Carrot, as you all know. Um, and then over here, and these two are my newest exclusives. I'm, I'm so happy that I got them. Um, this is Shimmer. He is the uh, Arabian Stallion exclusive. And then back there, we have um, Hoof, and he is the um, New Frisian Stallion. This is Bandit, and he is the Norwegian Stallion. Down here is Puddles, and that is the Tinker Stallion. And then back here is Huen, and he's the um, Appaloosa Stallion. That is Prancer, he is the Saddlebred Stallion. And then in the back there is Zodiac, and he is the uh, Appaloosa Stallion Rico. And then over here is this um, a lovely Schleich uh, Rider Cafe set that I have here, this whole little cafe. I'm not going to go into too much detail with all the human names, just because I will take a little too long. But we have all this little table here, some cupcakes and pie for sale with some fresh eggs from up from the chicken coop and some lovely uh, cappuccinos and some more pies baking in the oven.
All right, and moving on from there, there's some cookies that they also cooked on the table, so. And some horse treats and carrots for the horses because we need treats for them too, guys. All right, and then this is a mare in full barn. In the first stall here, we has, in the first stall here, we have Persia and her full honeysuckle. And then back here, we have Buttercup. The These are the quarter horses. Um, this is Buttercup and her full Taki. Back here is the Halflinger mare in full. Her name is Moonstone and her foal's name is Arad. And then in the far, farthest back stall, this is, um, these are the Mustangs who are both for sale as a bundle on my Etsy. Her name is Fruity and her foal's name is Cloche. And then over here on this side, this these are the Trepainers. Uh, the mare's name is Lady Love and her foal's name is Rabidash. And then over here are the Andalusians. The mare's name is um, a pony, and her foal's name is Mono. And then those are the Hanoverians. Her name is uh, Lakota, and her foal's name is Barzul. And then finally in the back there um, are the Appaloosas, and that is Pumpkin, and her foal's name is Spice. All right, and then over here we have a mare pasture and mare barns. Um, so right here is the Collecta mare and her name is is Fret. And then outside is Melissa and she's just checking in on Fret. And then right here is this beautiful um, new model that I have. She is a, she came in the collector pack. She is a recolor on the Tennessee Walker mare. And her name is Fearling. And then back here, we have Mandy, who is just um, by the whips and crops for the riding arena, and she's about to move them upstairs. And uh, she has some water buckets, and then we will move into the mare pasture. Molly, she is a Clydesdale mare. She will be relisted on my Etsy. She really needs a good home, guys. Um, and then right here is, um, we have Phelan, and she is the Akitiki mare. And then over there, we have the Fjord mare, who is a mojo figure, and her name is Bruna. And there's this little cat. His name is Granite, and he's just uh, checking out the hay bales. This is Zaharia. She is a uh, Trikaner mare. And then right here, is Smokey and she is the Tinker Mare. Right here is Brightwind and she is the Pentavian Mare. Back there you have Sunny and she is the Retired Arabian Mare. And then over here are my two Frisian twins as well as my two Hanoverian twins. So her name is Ayara and her name right here is Crimson. And then these are the Hanoverian twins. The gray mare's name is Ayla, and the black mare's name is Buffalo. And then back here is Blossom from Horse Club. And then over here is the Perdron mare, and her name is Everglade. And then right here we have the Collecta uh, Missouri Fox Trotter mare, and her name is Pippin and she's being checked on by Lizzie. And then over here in the back is Whitestone. She's, I don't actually know what breed she is, but I'm gonna find out. This is Windblow, she's the Appaloosa mare. And then in the farthest stall there is Twinkle, and she is a recolor on the Tinker mare that comes in the collector's pack. I absolutely love her, and I made her halter. It's inspired by Schleich Scythe whose halter I have is on the original Tinker Mare. All right, so that is the middle part of the shelf, and now we'll move over to the side shelf. Over here is Grace, and she's leading Malibu. She is the retired Frisian Mare, and this lovely halter and lead rope is made by Infinity Briars. And then in the arena here is Orchestra, who's being ridden by Sally, and they're doing some vaulting. 
you know, being um, instructed and just, you know, helped by Magdalena. And then there's this little girl who's enjoying her nice picnic watching the vaulting horses. And her name is Sienna. And then over here is this adorable, adorable, adorable little doggy area. I don't have names for all the dogs because there are just way too many. And they are super cute. But, um, yeah. I know these are the Shih Tzu Inus. Um, I'm not sure about the other breeds. I think that one back there is definitely a Dalmatian. I think that's the Rhodesian Ridgeback. That's the new one. Um, but these puppies are just super cute. And then over here is, um, the, oh, there's the German Shepherds. And this is the Caravan. The little Caravan set. I love it. Um, and um, there's just all this happening up here. The Golden Retriever. And yeah, they're just kind of chilling in here. And there's um, our doggies. And I think I want to expand this area and make it maybe into like an obstacle set. And obviously I'm probably going to redo this area here. But this is what it is now. So guys, and we'll do one final overview of everything. Because I know you guys really, really enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed this video just in general. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think I should add, change, adjust, um, and what you think of everything. And um, uh, some definite things that I'm going to change. I'm going to be making a new arena soon. Probably um, expand the tack room and probably expand the feed room. So those are some things you will definitely or hopefully see in the August barn tour. And yeah. All right, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed that video. It took a long time to put together and set up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it so much. Hit that like button and go watch some of my other videos. And please go check out my Etsy. It means so much, all of your love support. I mean, I mean, it means so much for me. It keeps me so motivated. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it and I love you guys too. So bye roses. See you guys next time.